start out by bragging, but I recently contracted a virus. It's, it's not that big a deal, but because of the health problems, I have to be on this extremely stringent regime. Like, I can't have any fruit or sugar or grains or dairy or uh, joy. Oh, also, I can't have sex. Medically, I probably can, but I can't get drunk. <laughs> yeah. What am I gonna do, get to know someone? <laughs> when I first found out that basically all I could eat was leafy greens, of course, my first reaction was just like complete relief. It, like finally have something to talk about at parties. What are you cutting out of your diet, everything? Oh, you're down to just ice chips and Himalayan rock salt? Amazing. <laughs> People get so mad about food stuff. We don't do that with other ailments. Not like, oh, asthma? Why don't you just breathe good? I do. <laughs> Gluten-free, get over it. My granddaddy didn't go to war so you can eat that burger in a lettuce wrap. <laughs> Put your meat in a bun. Show some pride, white flour. <laughs> I love to watch people eat together couples. So cute. Like that first date couple is having tapas, pushing an olive around on the plate. They hook up later, you know she's gonna get up in the middle of the night, put her makeup back on. There's a married couple, they've been together for a while, they don't even have to talk just silently enjoying a nice meal. They won't make love tonight, just lie in each other's arms, bloated and happy. <laughs> but I think that can go too far, right? Like, you can get too comfortable. I was at a big theater event recently, and it was cabaret seating. I was sitting with a young couple. And after intermission, they came back to the table, and I thought that somehow they had gotten ice cream treats. Naturally, I was insanely jealous. <laughs> young lovers with ice cream? What could be more beautiful? But friends, they did not have ice cream treats. And in fact, they had not purchased anything. <laughs> they had brought with them and were now splitting a block of mozzarella cheese. <laughs> yep. Just pushing down the plastic and gnawing on the ends like it's not shameful some respect, if not for yourself, then for the venue. I would have been less uncomfortable if he had been casually fingering her under the table. That would have seemed less intimate. I was like, there's other people here, man? I felt like I was at their wedding. I have been to some very touching nuptials, but I have never seen two humans more adamantly articulate that they are just 100% committed to never again being attractive to other people. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.